Some eateries here in Singapore are getting ready for a possible earlier start to phase two of restarting the economy. Now, even though dining in won't be allowed under phase one, some places are already adjusting seating layouts to comply with the rule of five per table. But not all are expecting business to return to normal quite so soon. Brendan Tenoto tells us more. Sui Chun Tim Sum Restaurant is replacing the larger tables that seat 10 or more with smaller ones that accommodate just 5. While this could help optimise space, the restaurant will still see its seating capacity halved from the original 400. So this will definitely affect business as well. Um, but hopefully that will be taken care of you know, with deliveries. We also have designated safety officers in place, temperature taking even, and all, the, all those will definitely be in place um, um, to make sure that our, our public safety is being taken care of. Outdoor seating is an option considered by bakery cafe Pentler, which only has an indoor seating capacity for 20. But a shop is not expecting business to go back to pre-COVID days when Singapore enters its second phase of reopening. There won't be a significant change because um, I believe that the uptake will still be very slow in the beginning um, because many people are still working from home. Um, many offices are not operating fully. The dampened sentiment is shared by some retailers too, but to them, the reopening is better than none. I believe that uh, we would not see the kind of footfall or uh, revenue that we were experiencing uh, before uh, the coronavirus came about. But still, we have rentals to pay, staff to take care of. So I think to open is better than not to slowly ease into uh, what it used to be. I think it will take many, many months. The leather goods retailer says it will continue with work segregation and let its older staff work from home.